Hello guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Hope RBI. In this particular lecture, I am going to talk about the most important thing that you guys need to know regarding the preparation of the quantitative aptitude. I was actually going through the comment section and I realized that most of you guys have the doubt regarding the quantitative aptitude preparation. You guys were thinking that uh, the a difficulty level of the questions that has been asked in the examinations for the past few years has been increased and uh, you guys are not able to solve good amount of questions in a limited time frame. So I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to share what methods I actually used that really helped me to score about 40 out of 40 marks in IBPS RRB PO examination in the year 2020 as well as 30 out of 35 marks in the SBI PO examination in the year 2020. So uh, there are a few things that you need to know about. Uh, the first thing that you need to know is that you not only have to rely on the accuracy of the questions that you solve, but also on the speed of the questions that you solve. You not only have to uh, attempt the questions accurately, correctly, but also you have to attempt maximum amount of the questions in given time frame. So we are going to talk about uh, the main things here. The first thing is that you need to focus firstly on the preparation of your questions and secondly on the strategy during your attempt during your attempt in the examination because not only uh, you have to prepare well but also you need to strategize that how you are going to encounter the questions and how you are going to attempt those questions in that particular examination in which sequence you need to attempt those questions that will be really helpful for you guys so first thing first the preparation i've already made the video regarding the preparation i've uh, shared the sources uh, from which you can cover your quantitative aptitude section i've uh, told you about the test series that you can use to cover the quantitative aptitude section you can check out the video i will put the link in the description as well as here in the flashcard which might be showing here right now so about the preparation most of you you guys might be thinking that there are various shortcuts to solve the questions and there are various shortcuts for the simplification uh, questions you might be uh, familiar with the simplification questions most of the students were very familiar with the um, you know vedic math um, strategies uh, with various shortcuts some of uh, the teachers in the youtube uh, uh, world will also uh, recommend you guys to memorize the squares of 1 to 50 and uh, memorize the cubes of 1 to 30 so these are really very good methods but i did not do it because i was not uh, very good in memorizing these numbers so I mostly relied on the calculation practice calculation practice so what I did was I used to take sectional tests okay and that too chapter wise so let's suppose I'm doing uh, the preparation for the simplification chapter especially I will go to my test series and I will find the simplification chapters tests individually and I will take the test in a limited time frame that they have given and uh, a limited set of questions that they have given in their individual tests. So I would solve that and I would uh, carefully examine how much questions was I able to attempt and how much improvement do I need to do in order to get my accuracy right. So that's what I did and uh, secondly about the arithmetic problems I also did the same. I used to attempt the sectional tests and in the sectional test, I also did chapter wise tests. So in your test series, which I've recommended you guys, you can also find the sectional test and chapter wise tests in those series. Once you complete the chapter, you can go through the chapter wise test and you can take the test in the limited time frame. Always time your preparation. You have to time your preparation, even if you're doing it through your books. I've recommended some good books. If Let's suppose you are reading from a book and you are preparing for the chapter SI and CI. First of all, you need to familiarize yourself with the concepts of SI and CI, which you can do through YouTube or whatever kind of source it is. And after that, when you are practicing question from the given book, you have to time those practice uh, through your stopwatch. Okay, let's suppose you are going to attempt 35 questions out of the given set of questions in the books. Then you have to set the timer of at least 15 to 20 minutes in your own a smartwatch or in your smartphone so that you would be able to time your practice of these 35 questions uh, it doesn't matter if you know all of those questions or if you don't know all of those questions you have to time it and you have to check the answers after your time limit has been exceeded okay after that you will check your answers and check your accuracy and uh, that is how you will be able to really uh, you know improve your accuracy as well as your speed in attempting the questions that really has helped me I have practiced this while I was preparing for the RRB 
PO examination last year. So it really helped me and uh, trust me guys, I scored absolutely 40 out of 40 in this particular section. And uh, this kind of thing that you need to do is very, very essential. You have to go through chapter wise sectional tests. And after that, you need to go through uh, the whole mock test. And in that whole mock test, you will be able to, uh, you know, attempt these questions very, very uh, quickly because you had practiced each and every question through your time limit. Okay. So that is the main thing that I need to talk about here. And the second thing is the let me erase all of this mess that I've created right now. So the second thing that I need to talk about is the strategy to approach the questions. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about the DI section. I'm really sorry. I forgot about the DI section. So there are sectional tests also available for DI. Before DI, you have to prepare for ratio chapter, ratio and proportion, your percentages. And for the higher level DI, you also need to prepare arithmetic all the chapters, whether it's profit and loss, whether it's SI and CI, whether it's time and work, whether it's your time, speed and distance, each and every chapter should be covered beforehand. Okay. After that, you have to prepare for DI. So the basic thing that you need to know about is the ratio and percentage, uh, ratio and proportion and the percentage. So after uh, doing these two chapters, you move on to the DI and in the DI section, you only have to cover the sectional test of DI. DI will be very beneficial for you guys only if you practice it in a time framed manner. Okay. If you are doing in an aimless time manner, like, uh, you know, just you, you just open a book and you just start pr uh, preparing for it, it will be of no use. You have to time your preparation and you have to do it very, very sincerely because DI holds a greater portion in your RBI grade B examination and the level of difficulty has also been increased now. So you have to prepare for the DI in uh, our time framed manner very, very carefully and very, very attentively. Okay. DI holds a very good chunk of your marks. And if you uh, accurately attempt maximum DI, you will be able to score very, very good in quantitative aptitude section. And you will not be able to, you know, uh, rely on these arithmetic uh, scenes, uh, these arithmetic questions. So DI is very, very important for you guys. You have to prepare for it very, very seriously. And in a particular time frame. So let's erase this and let's talk about the strategy in which you should be able to attempt the examination, the quantitative aptitude section, especially. So first thing first, you will be encountered various type of questions. Suppose your uh, quantitative aptitude section has simplification problems. Then your quantitative aptitude has DI problems. Then your quantitative aptitude has number series problem. Okay, then your quantitative aptitude has your quadratic equations problems. And then you have some arithmetic problems. Okay, DI might also be of table, it may also be of, uh, you know, pie charts, or it may be a case led DI or whatever kind of DI that might be there in this particular exam. So first things first, you need to actually attempt what I actually do, which will be very uh, fruitful for you guys is to attempt the questions which can be quickly done and which are in a good amount, which are in a good chunk in your examination. For example, simplification, search for the simplification problem and start doing simplification problem firstly. Okay. There might be five to eight problems of simplification. And if you're done with this in almost uh, three to four minutes, it will be a good amount of questions done in a very small amount of time. And that will be really good for you guys to do good amount of questions of DI because DI might be complicated in your examination and you need a lot of time to solve the questions in that particular section. So attempt the simplification and after attempting the simplification directly move on to the quadratic equations. Quadratic equation is also one of the easier topics in your uh, quantitative aptitude. So try to attempt the quadratic equations. You might encounter five questions, maximum five questions in your uh, examination regarding quadri uh, quadratic equations. So you have to attempt quadratic equation after, after your simplification problems. And after that, you move on to the number series. Most of the students are very much proficient in doing the uh, problems regarding the number series, whether it's the missing number series or whether it's the wrong number series. There is no shortcut in missing number series or wrong number series. You only have to practice it. Okay. You can practice in the same manner, just like, uh, you know, uh, giving a sectional test and time it 
okay so uh, you can do that and if um, you encounter any number series you can move on to that number series uh, question because it gives you a fair idea if you know the question you will know the question and if you don't know the question trust me at the end of the time of quantitative aptitude you would not be able to solve the number series question if you don't know it at all okay so there is no time wasting in it and then after that you can move on to your di section because di holds a lot a good amount of uh, questions uh, under it so you can move on to the di and search for the di in which there is only one table or there is only one pie chart or there is only one amount of data given okay don't move to the case slide di at first because case slide di requires you to decipher uh, the actual table of contents from the given paragraph okay so it requires reading and it requires a lot of time so uh, try to attempt the case slide di at the end of uh, your uh, whole attemptation okay so first of all uh, check out for the di which has only one amount of data be it a one table be it uh, one pie chart or be it one kind of you know a line chart or whatever so after attempting di you would be able to um, know that uh, now the next kind of di is very lengthy or very very difficult and it would not uh, you would not be able to solve it in time you can just move on to the arithmetic section and find the smaller amount of questions the smaller type of questions that you can do in about uh, one minute one minute is a, one minute is a very long time you can do it about in 45 to 50 seconds okay your practice must be such that your your question solving capabilities might be uh, you know constrained in this particular time limit 45 to 50 seconds that's it the most difficult question that you can uh, find in an arithmetic problem uh, might take one and a half minute not more than that okay only one and a half minute so your preparation would be uh, such that you would be able to solve each and every question of arithmetic be it the harder level or the uh, you know easier level the average time limit should be your 55 to 60 seconds that's it okay so all of this you can do by only practice and not by you know searching for a medicine or a shortcut on the internet of course you can search shorter methods it's very beneficial shorter methods are very beneficial for your um, banking examinations in the prelims phase as well as your rbi examination in some of the questions but in order to attempt a good amount of question with accuracy, you also need to familiarize yourself with the concepts, which you can easily find uh, in any of the YouTube videos that you will be encountering in this particular platform. Because um, there are various n amount of teachers who are teaching their own methods and some of the methods are really very, very good. So there is a good amount of time for you to research on that and you... Uh, can develop your own method can develop your own uh, you know uh, system of solving these kind of questions that's what i actually did and i was really very sincere while solving these questions because you know you get bored while uh, you are attempting the questions from your uh, books you know and uh, um, set a time on your timer and it's kind of a boring thing to do but that's what I actually did and it really helped me out to score very very good you can see that I really scored these kind of uh, um, good marks I don't actually have uh, the PDF with me now uh, but I would definitely share if I get good marks I have filled some of the uh, banking examinations upcoming banking examinations as well so if I go score good I will definitely share my uh, uh, you know mark sheet with you guys but uh, these methods really help uh, you guys to prepare for these kind of examinations where accuracy as well as speed is involved so please go through this uh, video for um, as much as you can so that you would be able to understand what I'm trying to say here and if you have any kind of doubt you can ask your any doubt down in the comment section I will be happy to answer every doubt of yours and uh, you can also reach out to us at uh, our own uh, uh, telegram group i will put the link in the description as well so you can join and uh, we have a little discussion over there and you can also be a part of that discussion and you will be able to you know uh, share your opinions and your uh, suggestions in that channel as well and uh, i'm also an aspirant so uh, if you guys think that i'm a teacher here i'm not a teacher i'm also an aspirant i have been preparing for this examination for uh, almost two years now and i am uh, still pursuing this examination this year as so i hope that you guys understand that and you guys will also be helping me in preparing good for my uh, examination as well so thank you so much for watching this video share this video as much as you can i cannot thank you enough for growing this family to uh, around 2.5k uh, thank you so much for being here and thank you very much for watching this video have a wonderful day